Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Hearthstone deck spotlight. My name is Tommy Wave, and today we'll be taking a look at Was Up Punu's Was Up Punu's Odd Secret Mage. Uh, this has been getting a lot of traction over on Hearthpone. Thought I'd take a look as very uh, interesting style of uh, style of mage deck. Uh, both with that odd element to it and also focusing very heavily on secrets, which is not something we've seen for a very, very long time. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, when we say odd mage, what this means is we're playing Baku the Moon Eater, uh, which says at the start of the game, uh, if our deck has only odd cost cards, it upgrades our hero power. Uh, the upgraded mage hero power does two damage instead of one, uh, meaning that it's very good at taking out specific threats. Also puts quite a clock on your opponent, as it's essentially like the hunter hero power. Uh, it gives us a little bit of extra reach, which uh, from my initial impressions is something that this deck definitely, definitely needs. So we'll go through some of the cards here. Uh, we've got uh, a couple of really early aggressive creatures, great tempo creatures in Mana Worm and Secret Keeper, uh, which will hopefully grow out of control um, or at least require our opponent to remove them. Uh, we've also got a couple of control elements, Breath of Syndragosa and Arcane Missiles. Uh, we haven't got any of the shooting stars in here, uh, which is quite interesting. So we'll uh, definitely keep an eye out on whether these breaths and these arcane missiles are doing the job that we need if we need to uh, maybe do some swapping over. Obviously, we skip the two drop. We can't have any twos. And we get into this massive 19 cards worth of three drops. So uh, we'll go through the secrets first, as they are quite titular to the deck. Uh, we've got uh, counter spell and explosive runes. Uh, if you've been playing standard since kobolds and catacombs, uh, you know all about these cards. They're like an integral part to most tempo or aggro mages, uh, as they allow you to trade effectively on uh, on resources and trade effectively on mana when combined with Curantor Mage. Uh, we've also got Ice Barrier in here, just the one of. Uh, obviously, if we're trying to be aggressive. Uh, this card doesn't exactly fit the MO, but uh, it does seem like we want to have that critical mass of secrets for our uh, other effects. Uh, we've also got Mana Bind in here and Mirror Entity. Mirror Entity I really like, especially with a lot of uh, even Warlock, a lot of these decks that are trying to drop big mountain giants and things like that. Uh, so I really like this. Mana Bind, uh, I think we'll have to see how that goes. Uh, I can't think of too many uh, fantastic targets for this you know, without things like Call to Arms or anything in the meta, but uh, we'll see how we go. Uh, other three drops we've got in here, the Black Cat is fantastic uh, because we are odd. It is a spell damage minion, and if our deck has only odd cost cards, we draw a card on Battlecry, which is fantastic. Uh, one of Arcane Intellect in here. We've got some Cold Wraiths, um, which combine very well with the Frost Nova, but we don't actually have any Frost Bolts or anything else in here, so uh, we'll kind of keep an eye out on if this is uh, worthwhile, but it does have a nice big body, so it could help hold down the fort. We've got a one of Iron Beak Owl. That's Lone Silence in the deck. Uh, uh, I'm not too sure it, what we should be paying attention to in terms of uh, silences, but without access to uh, things like Polymorph and that stuff, I think Iron Beak Owl is a great, uh, great choice. Uh, moving on to the fives, we've got Giggling Inventor, an all-star from the most recent expansion, uh, help hold down the fort uh, and give us some, some board presence. And Subject 9 here, I think, is one of the more interesting cards. Uh, we do have a big selection of secrets, so Subject 9 will often draw us four or five cards. Uh, but whether or not we'll be able to deploy them all in a reasonable fashion, because they are, you know, mage secrets, they do cost three, uh, that's a different question. Uh, and then to finish things off, just a one-off flame strike here uh, for a bit of board control. So I think the main thing that we want to pay attention to is uh, if we have enough to finish off our opponents, uh, we have a pretty sparse min minion selection. So we are going to have to lean pretty heavily on those minions to get some damage in. And then in terms of reach, we might just have to rely on our hero power as we don't have access to anything like fireball or anything like that. So... Uh, we'll definitely pay attention to see if we need to cut some of these uh, maybe more anemic minions for some bigger threats, you know, Antonitis, these types of things. Uh, so I'll cut it off there and we'll be back with some game. This is Thrall! Okay, here against the Shaman. For Doomhammer. You ask Playing for with it. the odd secret mage. So I feel like we should definitely keep Subject 9. Uh, might be, especially if we're against even Shaman, might give us the resources to kind of push through 
uh, in those kind of middle to late turns. Even against Shutterwalk could be uh, could allow us to try and close out the game earlier. Um, and then I think we should probably mulligan for our Mana Worms and Secret Keepers. You love my voice. Oh my gosh, Alkali, you're too kind. Too kind. I do try. I do try. Oh my gosh. Wow. All the love. Alkali, just subscribe with the tier one. Oh, you gifted it. De -dada Dadachi. Gifting the sub. Oh my gosh. It's all happening here. Let's, let's, let's quickly get our focus back on this game. Just quickly. Oh my gosh. One free tier one sub for this channel. For the first person to comment in chat who does not have a sub in the channel, lasting two minutes from the post. Cozy Blizzard, thank you for promoting our games. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Wow. Big ups to uh, Dadachi. Alkali, hopefully you enjoy the little, uh, the little palm tree emote, the little palm tree badge, and enjoy your stay wavy emotes. Okay, so our opponent got that slow start, which is very good. Um, I don't think we're scared of too many threes, so I think we'll just get the body out here. Winter is here, and it's cold. Winter is here, and it's cold. Courtesy of Blizzard. How interesting. Our opponent not doing much of anything, so... I think this gives us... Makes us think... Uh... Shutterwalk more than anything. And let's keep that pressure on. We have many Get the mirror secrets. entity down here. I'm going to take out the spell damage totem. Uh, just to make lightning, lightning storms a little bit harder for our opponents. But yeah, I usually don't stream on uh, on on it's Tuesday in Australian time. Usually don't stream Tuesdays, but I had the day off and thought, the why not? So this could be a uh, regular, like, elemental shaman, it could be also, um, the kind of fair Shutterwalk deck. Alright. Look at- whoa, look at that hand! Subject 9 with the big draws. Just gave us, uh, what's that, 15 damage worth of secret? 15 mana worth of secrets. Lightning Storm here. See if they get the 50-50 on the Kirin Tor. Not. So, I think we definitely want to try and get this counter spell up, maybe. Hmm. Though, I believe they have coined. What to do? What to do? Hmm. Yeah. And now what? Do we go for the the mirror entity? Do we go for maybe Mana Worm Arcane Missiles? Runs out on me. Let's go for the Arcane Missiles. Yes. 
Just put two more three, uh, three toughness minions out there. Make a follow-up lightning storm a little bit tougher. Oh, they're going for the coin volcano. Yeah, so even if, if we had put the, the counter spell up there, we would have at least been able to uh, stop that. I'll but, never tell. Uh... See if we can ride this secret keeper out. I would assume that our opponent would maybe think that one of these is a counter spell. So going for the mana bind might actually be, um, might actually help us hit a more high value target in the future. These Frost Novas, hmm, the Frost Nova Cold Wraith thing is very, I'm still really dubious on it. Hmm. Like maybe just having the Breath of Syndragosas in there is fine to combo with the Cold Wraith. Because, like, the Frost Novas and the Iron Beak Allen could all be... Sweet. Fortunately, now we've lost some of our minion damage, but... Now we got a, uh... We have many secrets. We got a hex out of it. Could be very useful. If our opponent's going to try and lean on, uh, maybe like a, an earth elemental or something like that. Dadachi, sorry about the late reply. I was being on the stream, but hey, it's streamers oh, we're in a game. Let's support, let's support these streamers. Let's support all the credit. So it's my thanks to you. You deserve it. Oh my gosh, Dadachi, thank you so much. You've definitely, truly blessed me with your presence on the stream. Ooh. Oh, at least, at least we get a, a free healing rain, right? Hmm. So we want one of these explosive runes down, for sure. I wonder. Guess we can actually bash through here. And thanks again. No worries, Adachi. Thank you for blessing us. Hope you have a fantastic rest of the day. May you bless many more humans. Okay, let's hope that we can get some uh, some good tempo off of this explosive runes. Especially if they're trying to set up uh, set up like a shadow walk later, if they've got like life drinkers. We can help uh, get rid of those. Oh. So that's the other volcano. Don't have too many minions left if this uh, volcano goes off. Jeez. We are not having a good time. Well, that's one of the better draws that we have. SJB, dude, dude. Hey, doing, friend? It's been a while. Hopefully, you're doing well. We are playing some. Interesting list. It's an odd secret mage. It is truly odd indeed. We're up against some kind of uh, 
the calm before the Some kind of control... Controlling shaman? Maybe Shutterwalk? Maybe something we haven't seen before? Not super confident, particularly if our opponent rips uh, another healing rain. We could be in for some struggles. Reality. Whoa. I am science. Oh my I gosh. Am genius. This is like the darkest timeline. Or not. Okay. See if these uh, Frost Novas can help. Help us not get traded into the Bog Boy. The other Lightning Storm. Interesting they didn't go for the, uh, the Lightning Storm last time. Get those big heals off the uh, Omega Mind. There's Iron Beak Owl for the next taunt that they drop. It's just so rough not having any, uh, any like fireballs or anything in here. Warriors of the frozen wastes, rise. Oh, we got the Iron Beak Owl. Definitely a deck that would love if uh, Firelands Portal was still in the format. That Reach, that Board Presence. I am science. Oh dear. I, genius. I never played my game with sound, so I had no idea what these cards sound like. Neither did I. I used before I started streaming. I used to be. Exclusively a no sound human. Oh no. Our opponent. Oh, the <laughs> oh, I think that was like our last chance is uh, going for Barker. But they death gripped it out of that list. Oh, done. Yeah. None of these cards hit face. Well. I guess we can hope our opponent can't kill us in... Can't kill us or gain any life over the next two turns. There are some pretty sweet, uh, sweet that sound effects. Like, half the cards are just, like, kind of fun puns and things like that. They have like one more draw. They certainly can't uh, can't lethal us in two turns.
Even with a couple of lava bursts and stuff. They've also locked themselves out of, uh... Winter is here. And it's cold. I'd be able to play more minions. In fact, maybe we shouldn't have even played this Cold Wraith. Because it allows them to trade off. So if they had drawn a... A Life Trinker. This would give them an out. Whereas if they didn't... If they couldn't play anything, then they would have to have, like... You know, a lightning bolt to remove one of their minions. I so we probably should have thought a little bit harder about that play. Best of luck to you, Miss Alf. I'm off to bed. No worries. It is pro yeah, geez, it is probably late over there. Thanks for coming to check me out. I really appreciate it. Enjoy the sub, enjoy the stay wavy emote. Uh, and I'm sure I'll see you for a stream soon if you don't see me for a stream soon. I, I have to uh, do a bit of checking and see what the progress on that um, I wonder uh, on the cosplay you were working on earlier in the week was. I think it was the she one. There is little time. Well hey, we got there. Oof. So, that was a pretty extreme example of exactly what we were talking about when, uh, when we are saying we have to rely on our hero power to, for that reach, where had, that hero power was almost exclusively all of our reach in that game. So, uh, we'll be back with the- Alright. It's a shaman. You asked for it. So, pretty happy to send all of this back. Maybe we keep explosive runes? Hmm. Three draws. Yeah, getting a one drop. Hmm. No, I think we'll just send everything back. Especially with so many secrets in the deck. Just... Being able to hit a Kirin Tor Mage means that we're so likely to get some amount of value. We hit the Subject 9, which is really good. None will survive. No Mana Worm or Secret Keeper, though. Really hoping we get to see a game where we uh, do manage to hit the turn 2. Well, it's not the most pressure, but it certainly does uh, shut down a lot of our hopes to do some, uh, oh, some minion damage. Yeah. A second black cat could be interesting. We might be able to combine it. Combine the two together. Could go uh, Black Cat, Breath, Coin, Hero Power, take out this Tark Reaper. Or is it going to get Earthen Mited? It's not. It's going to get Evolved. I am the Blade of the Goddess. Ooh, we're going to go one more. Are you gonna are you gonna keep this thing? I'm gonna go one more. Yes. Hmm. Well, that is a predicament. We can arcane intellect and try and hit a maybe like a frost nova or a iron beak out. Because right now, breath of using the breath of Cinder Ghost is not a uh, 
Not exactly something we want to do. Or do we? It's only when it survives damage, so... I wonder... We just gotta hope that they don't roll... ...well on this first one. The future is ours. Well, that's probably pretty good. Let's hope that they can't go off. How long can this go on? How long can Behold this go the on? tools of creation. Hmm. Okay. So in a pretty bad position our opponents being able to uh, kind of assemble a lot of the pieces that they need to assemble. Without much interaction on our part. Yeah, do something about this secret keeper. Oh, Corridor Creeper, that's an interesting one. Maybe this is not what we think it is. The Firefly as well. It definitely doesn't seem like Shutterwalk. So, a bit of an awkward turn there, as we had the option to either go for Subject 9, Hero Power, or like, Kirintor, Secret, Arcane Intellect. Mushroom power! So, smartly keeping the uh, Anoetron as the Divine Shield. We have many secrets. We have many secrets. So we got our big, uh, big card advantage turn from, uh, from Subject Nine. We've got a big, reasonably big tempo turn here, but don't have a lot. I have really juicy stuff to follow up with. Yeah, test for Vaporize. Maybe Vaporize is better than Ice Barrier in this deck. That's not something that we've, uh, that I thought about. So Ice Barrier really doesn't help us uh, progress our game plan. Whereas Vaporize could, could help us win a race. I think that's why, like, even though I think our opponent was always going to test for Mirror Entity or, you know, uh, or Explosive Runes, I wanted to uh, go for the Explosive instead. Oh my. This is a, uh, this is a board. Oh my gosh. Oh. Well played. You win. 
do not think we are beating a Malagos and a uh, and a Tyrion there, unfortunately. But let's hope that we can get a uh, a draw where we actually get some one drop. Versus Mecha Jaraxxus. Okay. Three warlock here. You so asked I think we'll it. keep this uh, Kirintor mage. Send the other two back. Try and hit our one drops. As always, got a secret keeper, which is nice. So let's see what flavor of warlock. Even warlock. Okay. None will survive. So if we can hit a uh, a mirror entity, that would be never tell. phenomenal. I wonder what, if these secret keepers will make our opponent react differently though. Not yet. I'll never tell. <laughs> Pretty interesting draw here. If we can hit a mirror entity, as we said before, it could be could be curtains for our opponent. Though if they have a, a hellfire, of course, it'd be very bad. Well there's a mirror entity. So the question here is, do we want to get coin hell fired? Do we want to have the mirror entity up for the giant? Hmm. hmm. We have many secrets. <laughs> oh, they still have to have the hell fire. Still have to have it. They might think we've played a counter spell as well. Don't they have the hellfire? Well, that does suck quite a lot. Job done. Hopefully, they go for the mountain giant here. Thank you. Unfortunately, we got the mana bind, not the counter spell. But maybe if our opponent has the like a uh, no. Shields up. Well, that's a pretty good draw. No minions on the board either, so they have to have like Shroom Brewer. You want to get some heals off? Edge of Glory. And surely if they played Hooked Reaver last turn, they can't have a Shroom Brewer in hand. I think the Shroom Brewer would have been a significantly better play. Got him! But your world is still doomed. Nice. So even though our opponent had the uh, the Hellfire for us, the fact that we had the Mirror Entity was extremely good. So let's take a look at the deck. Uh, honestly, ooh, not this one. Honestly, I still think we need to get some form of late game, some something powerful in here. I uh, think maybe a card like Astromancer could be interesting, especially with uh, with Subject Nine, with quite a lot of cards that cycle and draw us cards in here. A card like Astromancer uh, could play. Uh, kind of a similar role to, to like Spiteful in that it's a sev uh, seven mana play that just generates a whole heap of, uh, of stats on board. 
so I maybe like to consider that. We could also look at uh, maybe a card like Azalina Soul Thief uh, against Control. Um, what else could we be playing in here? Any big legendary, I think, that's of course odd. So something like Alexstrasza or Ysera. Something like that. I think that's what I'd uh, what I'd be looking for. And I think I'd look at cutting things like uh, the Frost Nova, maybe this Iron Beak Owl, though. Uh, it was pretty useful in some of those games. The other thing I'd look at is maybe uh, cutting this Ice Barrier or possibly one of the uh, Mana Binds to get a, uh, a Vaporize in here. Something like that. Unfortunately, we don't have access to uh, a lot of burn, a lot of reach, as we mentioned uh, in the opening uh, the opening segment there. But even a card like Cinderstorm could uh, could work for us. But overall, um, uh, thank you to What's Up Pinu Pun uh, for the deck. Uh, really interesting one. If you are watching this video on YouTube, all the links are down in the description, including a link over to the Hearthbone article. So jump over there, give the deck a plus one, leave a nice thoughtful comment. All of my links are also down in the description, including a link over to Twitter, which is the best place to catch me. If you do have a sweet deck, you can drop it over there. And until next time, I do hope you all stay wavy. Bye.